The Tao practice become my life now. And I like because I enjoy joy and happiness, enjoy health, and enjoy vitality. Because the Tao practice is very internal exercise and understand the force and understand the nature and understand the universe. So I'm working with all these forces and then you're having more joys and happiness. And I so enjoy to help other people and teaching other people to experience this. So my goal is teach everybody to be their master of their own teacher. They become their own teacher, become their own healer, and become their own emotional control, become their own psychology. And the higher level, you learn how to become your own priest. Priest is handling your own spiritual. The Taoist the Taoist mean uh, a person that learn how to learn the inner technology. Okay, and what the inner technology, or we call the language of the energy. Okay, so we started to learn a different kind of energy, and you started to learn how to control this energy. So we divide that emotional energy. We don't look at them as garbage or sin, but we look at them as energy we can transform. Okay? So you master in controlling your emotional, and you learn how to recycle your energy in the microcosmic. Okay? So all in one with energy. Everything is energy, like the, like the uh, there are quantum study now, they discover that everything in this world is the energy. Okay. Now, the, um, the next thing, you have to control, learn how to take in the forces from outside. So you master your life and master your next destiny. And you understand that like, the nature has the forces and we have the forces. So the first thing you learn and find out from the astrology what is you are lacking, what is you are lacking, and what the nature have what you don't have, and what the 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 planet have and you don't have, what the uh, the the sky have, the star have and you don't have, what the universal have and you don't have. So you learn how to take in the force that you need to enhance what you are lacking. Okay. And the um, next part is the controlling of your sexual energy. So that's why we call the healing love practice. You need to learn how to control your sexual energy. You need to transform your sexual energy from the material into immaterial. So a Tao master is the master that master themselves by learning how to control emotional, control the, the life force, control the energy in the nature and the universe world, and enhance ourselves and learn how to control the sexual energy, and you master controlling the force. The thing about the Taoist is that uh, when you have, when you are, we are yang, yang, yin and yang, okay, practice. So when you have movement, when you move to one level, we have stillness. We have stillness, okay? And uh, in the Tao ways, we want to fill in rather than empty out, or surrender, no ego, and let go everything. But rather than uh, the whole thing is you need to relax, let go, empty yourself in order to receive more newer forces come to you. If you're holding your, yourself like a, a full glass, you cannot receive it. But, it's not, but sometimes people use it in the wrong way, tell people to surrender so they can control the other people, mind and the body. The, uh, the Taoism is not a religious, it's just a practice to learn how to live with the nature, the universe, and work with the force, and grow with the flow. Go with the flow. And learn how to recognize different forces that we, we're lacking and bring them into us to enhance our lacking of emotional or, or spiritual energy. In the Taoism, we believe that everybody, when they're born, they have certain uh, lacking of a force. And we come into this world, we start from the, we call the primordial force, we call formless and it changed into um, uh, yin yang, but no priority. It's still formless. And from there, when you have a big bang, it turned into a material world. And we become the material world. Okay? But 
our soul are immaterial. So our soul and the spirit are, and the energy are immaterial. Are very, very close to the we call the yin yang and the primordials. So in the Taoists believe that if we can transform our life force into material, into immaterial, we are, get, we are starting to get closer to the source or the original, to origin. So we, back, we try to back to the origin, but the origin is the formless, and that we need to transform from material into immaterial. When we transform ourselves, mean the material one and the old one, sometimes we call old ego, okay? We change the old one. So like, like in the Christian, we said the old one died. So we baptize the old one died, the new one coming. So we need to get a material change into immaterial, so we call born again process. Okay? Because the material world cannot connect with the immaterial one. But we have immaterial, the soul and the spirit and energy in us, so we use that one to transform. The, um, like in the fusion, we say transforming, in all, everything is uh, like if we take a garbage and uh, if you look at the garbage, it's a toxic waste material, you cannot transform them. Or we say a toxic waste material like um, battery, uh, battery, the mercury, the, um, all this toxic waste material, you need to get rid of it. And you look at another garbage that can be composed, like the lead, the leftover food, so you can compose them. Okay? Or we call, uh, you compose them to be a fertilized, so it becomes more fertilized energy. Aluminum can, plastic can, glass bottle can be recycled. So we have to be Whatever can be transformed, we transform. Whatever can be recycled, we recycle. And whatever you need to delete them, or we need to get rid of it, or need to bury them in somewhere, you have to get rid of it. Otherwise, you have... So the classifying of the emotional, we call inner observations, is very important. And you have to determine that I need to delete this emotional. Okay? Like when people... When, you, when the person always makes you angry, or when the person that you hate. So when you see them, or you, or, and they get close to you, you get very angry, very emotional. So you need to delete this emotional out. And when you, when you, and when you see something and you feel, mm, you don't feel good, so you need to transform this bad feeling into a good feeling. So that is how you can transform them. Uh, a simple way is that when we were very angry, if we learn how to transform the angry into kindness. When we were very hatred, we learn a half kick and how fast we change the hatred into love. Okay. And that is how we call transformation. Okay. Emotional in the Taoism we call negative and a positive. Okay. Now it doesn't mean negative is sin and dark and bad and positive is good. But the Taoism, we try to find a balance. Okay. So our emotional is something that um, creating us when, when we have the emotional, like fear, like angry, it affecting our whole body health and the emotional and the spiritual work also. So we need to transform them and find a balance of this negative and positive energy into our body. Because in the world, they have negative, positive, yin and yang, darkness and light, goodness and bad. But in, in, uh, in the Western mind, we classify the negative as evil, so we don't know how to deal with it. The only one way we have to do is destroy them. But the Tao said, no, we're embracing the darkness, and we have the positive come together and live together, but find a balance. Balance is the, is the key. The Taoism, we always talk about feeling your emotional is very important. If you cannot feel it, you cannot transform it. For example, when you turn inwardly and observe inside, and suddenly you feel, I have a lot of angry, a lot of hatred. So when you have a lot of angry, a lot of hatred, 
you can transform it. But once you expose it out, that means it's finished. Like you get a, you, you say, I'm going to get a hot water and pour on this guy that I hate. As long as you think about it and you start to observe, say, oh, this is bad, a lot of consequences, I cannot do it. And you can hold that, it's okay. You transform that. But a lot, uh, uh, if you take the action by getting hot water and pour on somebody, you're already gone. So feeling emotional is a very important part for the Tao practice. You must feel your emotional so you can correct them, you can transform them. Taoism is the only, only system in the world that are very detailed, classified emotional in each organ. And that is the root. And um, by not understanding where the root and you try to accept it, it's still there. And it's going to come back from the root. So in the Taoism, if, for example, hatred is stored in the heart, you go back into the heart and dissolve them, delete them, and put back good energy, and you clean up from the root. So uh, we divide them into uh, five major organs. So for example, we said the heart, we start with the summer. Heart, red summer. And the uh, summer followed with the Indian summer, that is the spleen, pancreas, and stomach. And we come up to the lungs, and the last intestine, and that is four, and the white color. And the four followed with the winter, that is the kidney, and that is the blue color. Okay? And the uh, winters follow with the spring, and that is the liver and gallbladder. So that is the major set of organs that we work with. Too many thousand years, when the Tao master had to not, when the light, when the sun go down, there's nothing to do, just turn inwardly. And when they learn how to be just in, in, in the observation, they started to see what the association of the organ, the color, the sound, and the animal happen naturally corresponding to that organ actually function way. The organs, they are by year and years and thousands and thousands of years of try and experience, the Tao discovered that emotional have a resigning or stay in the organs. Okay, like hatred, impatience, hastiness, cruelty, stay in the heart. Also, another positive energy also can stay in the heart. Love, joy, happy, compassion, unconditional love, also stay in the heart. So that is the negative positive by many, many thousand years. Like the liver, we have angry, jealousy, envy, frustration, guilty store in the liver. Okay? Also, there are positive energy stored in the liver. Also, kindness, generosity are stored in the liver. So that is there by many thousand years of try and practice and experience and written down, and they discover that emotional actually uh, generating from the organs. People get angry and um, it make a, a signal to the body. It just make a, a signal to the liver that producing more cholesterol. This is the very similar, uh, angry and, jet and, and frustration, very similar signal, tell the liver to producing more cholesterol. And the liver don't know, they just keep on cranking. When people get angry and jealousy, they're just producing more cholesterol inside the blood, blood stream. Like the frustrations or uh, uh, jealousy, it makes the gallbladder pour out all the digestive juice out. It's the wrong command. And it's affecting the body and make and, uh, and the gallbladder juice is started to digest the liner of the stomach. So the stomach started to get trouble. Like the heart, when people get more angry in the heart, and it makes the heart beat very irregular. Hatred, impatience make the heart beat very irregular. Eventually get heart attack. Like the lungs, when you get too much sadness, depressions, you're affecting the last intestine and get constipation and breathing not very well. So all these things causing sickness to us. Sometimes we make it simple like when you feel some, some area that not feel good inside you, you smile until you feel good. You order some form without knowing what problem.
you can do the inner smile and dissolve them. Emotional is here to stay. So emotional will be always come back to us. Always come back to us. It's just like you need to brush your teeth, you need to wash your face. Emotional is here to stay. So when you deal, deal with the emotional well, you are very easy to handle them better. Because the inner smile is the way to in touch with the inside of the, our body, our alchemist, our soul and the spirit. Without the inner smile, we have no connection with the inside. So we cannot do any alchemy practice. Because our communication inside the body, and the smiling is the most simple energy a child. When happy, is smile. When hungry, cry. So it's a very instinct power that we have it, since we are born to get inside and connect with inside and connecting with outside. Like sometimes uh, you have somebody that when you see them and they always smile to you and make you smile and you feel you're happy, that is a simple beginning. Or you can recall a place that you are feel so good about it like a scenery, a seaside, a forest, a, a garden, and you see the forest or garden and you feel very happy and nice. And that will help you to get in touch with inside. It's a training of the mind and training of the feeling. So that way the Taoists, we don't use any mantra, chanting, singing, uh, counting the beats or, or hitting the gong, everything. So we are trying to stay with the good feeling inside us. So in the Taoism said, when you turn your mind and feel good inside your heart, the monkey mind started to stay. And uh, it, will drip, it, it will drip away, it's okay. Again, we do it again, okay? Keep on training your mind to focus on the good feeling and make the good feeling grow.